Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have seen how to how to convert the TS lint to the ES lint. In the prior to the Angular 12 version, we have seen that means in the Angular 11 or Angular Angular 10, how to convert to TS lint to ES lint, we have seen. Now in this video, we will see the structure of the ES lint. So what are the configuration? What is the configuration that has been added? Let's try to explore. Now I will try to explain whatever I know. Now let's try to see. I am opening the recent Angular 12 project. So instead of opening this Angular role, most most probably the uh, what, we, what I can say is the configuration file will be the same only. There is nothing, no need to worry about that one. So the configuration file will be the same, one and the same only. Let's try to see. Here, if you are observing, here the first option what it is telling is the root option to true. So I have shown you, right? So uh, the root option to true means so this is the root file. So the configuration file is the root file. You have able to see, right? We will be able to get the parent configuration file or the ESLint configuration file. These are all the things it will try to override, right? So the root true means it will take this one as the root file, root configuration. This is the root configuration. And now here it is telling us ignore patterns. Ignore patterns means so the folder structure which the ESLint should not apply. Here the projects folder and now inside the projects folder, whatever the thing you will be having. So not don't apply the ESLint rules. That is the thing, ignore patterns. And here this overrides. Overrides is a new key that has been added in the ESLint 7, the latest version. What this override will do is, so you can write, for example, see what I can say is ESLint supports only for the J's actually. So ESLint, uh, the linting has been, has been uh, we can do only for the J's. Not only for the J's, it is intended for the J's. If you want to write uh, what I can say for a separate file, something like TypeScript file, .ts files, and if you want to uh, write something like .es6 file, separate rules, and if you want to write uh, separate rules for HTML, .html files, like this, if you want to write means, you can use this overrides option. And here you can mention your overrides of inside this overrides. You can mention your own set of custom rules here. You'll be able to see here, what are the files you want to apply. So here it, it is applying the rules for this star.ts. So this whole complete thing applies for the star.ts, okay? Now here in this star.ts, what are the parser options it should take? Parser options means nothing but what is the parsing? So whether it is in ES6 or ES, uh, what I can say, ES11 or something like that. So here it is telling that take it from the tsconfig.json. tsconfig.json, in the tsconfig.json, we will be we'll be writing that targeted, uh, what we can say, targeted script version. So here you'll be able to see somewhere, yeah, e module will be ES2020 target, it will be converted to the ES2017. And here it is converted into the ES2018. So like this, this is the target it will be taking. Now the parser option we have seen and here the extends. Extends is nothing but what we, we already know that it will take the configuration from this one. So recommended configuration. So the rules whatever present in this plugin it will be taken. So we have already seen how to add the configuration in the plugin in the previous videos. Plugin colon if you write the uh, plugin name. So it will take the uh, configuration. My config we have did right. So in the same scenario. So these are the two plugins which we have installed. So first one is the ESLint recommended one. That is means it will tell you about the TypeScript errors. And here it is a template error. So that means you will be able to see that in uh, template errors. So in HTML, whatever the thing you will be writing, sorry, in the templates, if you are writing any TS code or anything, so it will be giving you. That's it. So now here you'll be able to see. So these are the plugins recommended uh, rules, just to image, just to think. Uh, and here, these are the rules. So the, here, the, here, these are the sum of the rules that has been given. So Angular ES in directive selector, how to give the selector. So if you are giving the directives, if you are adding a directive, means how, how it should be. It should be an attribute director and the prefix always it should start with the app and it should be a camel case. Okay. So this is the directive and also here the component selector. So how could be the top component selector? It should be an element, something like uh, what we can say is a tag and the prefix should always, it should start with the app and it should be a kebab case. Okay. So this is the kebab case means hyphen. It should be a hyphen. And here camel case means you should give app or something like every word, it should be a capital letters like that. Okay, in the TS file, these are all in the TS file. I have told here in the template with HTML file, right? Sorry, these are all in the TS file. Okay, why, why? Because we have seeing the rules in the TS. So now you understood about this files thing, right? So here the rules we have seen. And the next option is files. If you are having star.html file, these are the template files. So whatever the templates you are having, so here, you need to load the template recommended rules. Okay, so here they are loading the template recommended rules. This is the plugin. Okay, hope you understood about this. Uh, it's a simple thing only. A simple thing. So now here you are having the overrides. Files is the star.ts file. The parser option it is taking and the extents and the rules, extra rules it is taking. So like this we are having. Now let's try to run the 
npm run lint here now here i will be going so i am clearing it out okay i am going into the cd angular hyphen project sorry let's go to the cd hyphen dot dot cd angular hyphen project so i will show you in the angular world project also how we can do so same thing it will be so i will show you and here if i try to run npm run lint so remember this angular project is having the angular 12 version and i am running the ang npm run lint to check whether how it is working So here you will be able to see that all files are passing linting. Now what I will try to do is here I will go to the source sorry source app component.ts and here I will write something like we have already seen this ng on init okay and here I will be writing console.log hi leela web dev okay so this is the console.log now what I want to write is so right now if I try to uh, do this one implements so something like implements oh what has happened yeah so implements implements on init okay so I want to implement on init and here if I write on init that's it so now what I want what I am doing is so here I am writing the console.log let's try to run the linting here okay so I am trying the linting here let's try to see oh sorry it's still saving i think so problem has been came yeah it has been saved successfully now what i will do here i will try to run npm run lint let's try to run the npm run lint just i have given just what i have given is console.log these things i have given just i want to check that whether it is uh, showing any errors or not so what my requirement is now uh, what I can say is so if it is showing the console errors means well and fine if it is not showing the console errors means console errors means nothing but console.log so wherever we have in the application we will write in the console.log right so I want to show an error in the linting that if you are using any console.log it should tell the errors right now it is not showing it is telling that all files pass the linting so that means but we here we have used in the app component we have used console.log now what I want to do here I want to show error that if any console.log are used in the project now what I need to do, we already know in the eslint.rc.json, so that one is in the start.ts, in the ts file we need to write. We already know, so in order to show the console error means the, the rule is no console and we need to show it as error. Okay, so I have written it as error. Now let's try to run the lint again. So if I try to run the lint, now it should show the console errors also. Now here, see, perfect, what, what it is telling, it is showing that console statement is not, uh, console sta unexpected console statement, it is coming from the no console. So what is the car rule we have applied, so it is coming. It first is coming from the app component.ts, what we have expected is coming. And next one it is coming from the main.ts. Okay, main.ts is nothing, we haven't written, we haven't written anything in the main.ts. Let's try to see the main.ts. Main.ts as we already know, this is the root file. Right, so we don't want, we have not changed. So here console.error we are getting, right. So we haven't changed. So now what I can do is one thing what we can do is here we will be not writing anything right. One thing what you can do is you can create a new file something like uh, oh sorry what has happened here polyfits. You can create a new file here something like here new file. Yeah dot es lint ignore. You can use ignore file. So we have already learned right yes and ignore and here you can write something like uh, source slash main.ts I want to ignore this file let's try to see whether it will work or not now if I try to run this one I will show you the second method also so you know not so instead of using this eslint rc file how can we change it in the console also we will try to see we will try to see Now perfect right so now in here also we are able to see uh, main.ts is not uh, showing right so now app component.ts only is showing another process what we can do is instead of writing this eslint ignore file I can remove this eslint ignore file so where is this eslint ignore file uh, eslint yeah here it is there right so I can delete this eslint ignore file go to recycle bin and what I can do is let's go to the eslint rc.json here this is the here what I can do this no console will take an extra option that is nothing but I can tell um, 
thing here it will take an object in a such a way that hello so what are the commands it should allow so here i can write something like yeah, it is showing error right so we can we can allow the error like this we can write it okay we can also we can also write something like option here and if i want to what i can do is so here the uh, problem what it is coming so here i need to add something like yeah hopefully this one is correct yeah so now if, let's try to check the output now if i try to check the output now we will get only app component.ts also like like this also you can use or otherwise you can use the isnit ignore file also so this is how we can write the custom rules now whatever the custom rules you want you can use the esnit custom rules whatever we have learned line break uh, no semi these are all the rules we have did right uh, what how we need to use this one what i can say debugger these are the things we can use it here directly so now this entire thing is converted into the ESLint. now we can use whatever the rules so you can create your own custom rules and you can write your own custom rules and everything you can do it so this is how we will be using the ESLint in the and uh, what is this one ah, yeah here it is showing right only one app component test yes, only one it is showing now i can remove that one and i can i can show you so here i can do what i can do is now let's go to the main.ts sorry app component.ts and i can remove this console.log so that now let's see yeah i can run this npm run lint sorry yeah it is still saving yeah now if i try to run npm run lint oh hope this one will not show any errors so this is how we will be doing in the uh, uh, this is how we will be writing these rules and all those things in angular hope you understood how to add this es lint to the angular so many uh, subscribers or viewers have asked me that how to apply this es lint to the angular like this they have asked me so this is how we will be we will be applying this es lint in the angular so ts lint as the ts lint is deprecated now it is showing another error it is telling that ng on init we are having an empty method right so instead of mentioning that ng on init you can remove this ng on init it is telling so this is an empty right so we it is telling that why you are implementing this one so directly you can remove this one it is saying that is also one correct only so linting this is the way how you can write refactor your code using the linting thing so this is the thing so how you hope you understood so we have seen with the angular 12 prior to the angular 12 how to convert the ts lint to es lint but in the angular 12 so we will not get any ts lint we can directly use the es lint install the es lint directly and uh, the custom rules how to write your own rules and also these all these things also we have learned these all things so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel and also please do follow my facebook page leela webdo so the facebook link is provided in the description below so uh, please uh, please follow that facebook page also okay thank you